use the best leather you can get and do as little as possible to it. Because of your history and culture uh, and trials, but the breed of foreigners attracted to me. They're a part we are a particular type. And when I first came to Mayo, people said, I mean, I can understand you coming to Ireland, but what the fuck are you doing in County Mayo? Get down to West Cork, where are full of creative people. Uh, but I couldn't imagine anything worse sort of thing. And all my hide comes from one tannery in Sweden. Most of the world's cow hides would come from South America and Africa, riddled with burrowing insects, spiders that dig into the skin and lay their eggs, scars, brush marks, animal attacks, all sorts of things. And the quality of the feeding down in Argentina is nothing compared to the quality of the feeding in Ireland or in Scandinavia. It would affect the inherent qualities in the height without question. Uh, and then add on the quality of the tanning process and you've got a different quality of height altogether. But also it'll take on a shape of its own. I mean, I could make six of the same bags in different colours, even in the same colour. And once they were finished, they would all look different, like wee faces. Because it just depends on the leather and the way you cut it. Uh, when I was 17, I got done for shoplifting. I stoned out my head, shoplifting. And I just got caught, of course, and my ma came to court with me. I, and when we left, there was still one tannery in Edinburgh. I, and my mother knew the manager. So she took me down there and spent a tenner on leather, sheepskins. And my father's sewing machine was still in the house. The following day, I injected the last of the morphine that I had because I'd been injecting for about eight months and they were crazy days I mean, and, and we were all at it so I injected the last bit of morphine that I had and spent the day making a pair of trousers but I didn't know how to do zips or anything skin tight big flares on them uh, and since I didn't know how to do zips it was just they were just thonged up the front great big flares and coloured thonging up the side and I went out that night wearing them and everybody said Jesus Christ where did you get them? Uh, well I made them and that was me in the leather business for I was selling them for 18 quid a pair but the demands were too great people wanted people would say oh, I love that jacket will you make me one of them? Yes it's a hundred oh, well that's great but but can I get two top pockets? Can I get flaps on the pockets? Can I get two inside pockets? Will you put two vents up the back? So, so all of a sudden the job was twice as much. So it just got too difficult, but also because I had no tailoring training. So then I went to back. bags, uh, they've all got a leather lining, there's nowhere they can tear or rip or come away. You'll never get a frayed thread sticking out or anything like that. When I make a pattern for a new bag for the first time out of light car, having made the main body of this pattern, we have to do the gusset now.
I have to make a bag now for my daughter. She's going to San Lucia for her anniversary. She wanted a wee bag uh, about eight inches wide, six inches deep, uh, with a flap and a zip under the flap. But there is an issue over there where the thief, sometimes on motorbikes, just slice your strap and they're away with the bag. The strap on this bag is uh, five eighths wide, double sided, uh, and I'll put that wire down the middle. So when the thief tries to cut it, if one of her does, uh, it's impossible. They'll cut the leather, but not the wire. So the bag will stay on your shoulder. Uh, this is a picture uh, of my mother and her sister and in it my mother is holding two shopping bags, one leopard skin and one seal skin and those are the two bags behind me now uh, that were still in the house after my mother died. After the war my father uh, got a sewing machine and my mother used to, you couldn't buy zips because all the metal had gone into war production and practical manufacturing. So my mother used to unpick the zips out of old cardigans or jackets and those were the zips that my father used in the bags. things in life more satisfying than a sharp needle punching through good leather. <laughs>